My name's Eric Hurstman. I grew up in Kenya and Sudan, actually. Uh, and I now live in the US doing web application development. But the reason I'm here is because I'm also a blogger. Um, I started whiteafrican.com a couple years ago, and it talked about Africa and technology. And then about a year ago, I started AfriGadget with a team of bloggers from all over Africa and the diaspora. That's what I'm here to talk about today. So AfriGadget is all about solving everyday problems with African ingenuity. I'm going to give you a speed run through a couple slides and stories that we've had throughout the last year. So this is an example of some of the tools that you'll see at roadside uh, fundi workshops. Or, you know, this is something that this gentleman made from scratch to, to work with small engine repair. Here we have a model airplane that actually is fully functional, made from scratch. Rebuilt car alternators using copper wire, bamboo, and plastic. A community biolatrine project in the Kibera slum in Kenya. A $100 bicycle motor that gets 50 kilometers per hour. A crocodile made from sheet roof that has been used and thrown away. Soccer ball made from twine and old trash bags. This is actually an interesting one I just found the other day. This is a, a street side nursery, and what they do there is they divert the rainfall from the street into a gutter, and they can have water throughout the year, throughout the dry season, because of that in these pools in the back. What they also do is grow tilapia in there to feed themselves. Now, you'll see toys like this all over Africa. They use wire, cans, wood, plastic, everything you can think of, but this is just a great example of it. A welding machine, handmade. And a windmill made from sheet roof, bicycle parts, and actually you're going to talk to, you're going to hear from another individual who's done something even more remarkable than this one later on today. So in, in Africa, we see ingenuity born, born of necessity, and you know, these examples are just examples of that. Um, Africans bend the little they have to their will every day. Using creativity, they overcome life's challenges. And then, you know, we've already talked about what the world sees. Well, where the world sees trash, Africa recycles. And where the world sees junk, Africa sees rebirth. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.